Hello friends, this is Dr. Nirmali Aroy Chaudhary. I am a specialist in internal medicine. I have been a board specialist, American Board of Internal Medicine for the last many years. I used to practice in the United States till I moved back to India in the recent past. I would like to share a few thoughts on the ongoing coronavirus epidemic. Please take this very, very seriously. This can turn out to be an extinction level event for humanity. We absolutely need to prevent transmission of this virus from one person to another. All of humanity is at risk here. Just to understand how serious this infection is, I will tell you in comparison to influenza, which is also a deadly disease. Influenza kills one out of 10,000 people affected by influenza. Compared to that, COVID-19, that is coronavirus 2019, this disease kills one to two out of 100. That means the mortality is 100 times higher than influenza. Second thing I would like to mention is this, that from data as of now, especially from the Western world, including Italy, we are seeing that most of the people having very severe disease also have hypertension or diabetes or heart disease. So this coronavirus infection, COVID-19, is particularly dangerous for patients with hypertension diabetes and heart disease please take care of yourself please take care of your loved ones and it is of utmost importance that you stay at home minimize human contact and try to not get out of home or mingle in any social gathering for at least next two weeks i think india is doing a great job in social distancing, people staying at home, trying to minimize social contacts. A few small things that can be very important and effective are the few that I am mentioning here. Number one, try to avoid any handshaking. Try to not touch any surface. Suppose you go to a store, maybe a medical store, pharmacy, but try to not touch any surface unless absolutely necessary. Try to keep your hands in your pocket religiously. Do not take your hands out of your pockets unless absolutely necessary. And lastly, I would also suggest everyone, including kids, to be taught to not touch their face with their hands. Remember, the most common way to transmit this virus is someone who is infected sneezes or coughs and delivers droplets on some surface that you touch maybe after many hours and you touch those droplets the virus gets on your hands and subsequently you touch your face and the virus gets into your nasal mucosa in your respiratory mucosa to prevent that what we need to do is make sure that we never touch our face with our hands and better we don't take our hands out of our pockets unless absolutely required. Thank you.